This video was brought to you by GrowBlackHair.net, a black woman's guide to growing long. Okay, so I'm straight. done twisting my hair. The next step that I'm going to use, uh, try is um, castor oil. I'm um, using this just to seal my ends. Usually I use that product um, for my product line as a hair oil, but I'm not using that today because um, the oil the oil that I used before I used it up and it takes about six weeks to make that oil that um, I use out of my hair care line so um, I have to wait until everything is uh, ready before I can use that again so I'm just going to be using castor oil as a substitute because castor oil is heavy it's a natural humricant and I've had some pretty good results okay I got a piece of hair that's uh, not um, twist it. I'm just going to twist or twist this. But um, as far as the curling paste go, my um, opinion of it, um, it's kind of like jam in a sense as far as the texture and the consistency of it. But will I ever purchase it again? No. Um, I don't see any pur what you know purpose I would have for using that. Um, my styling cream holds my hair just as well as well as gives you know a wonderful shine to it and it's 100% natural my styling cream um, the uh, except for the preservative it's not 100% natural this um, the second ingredient in this and I, re I researched it yesterday is Ceterith 25 um, when I went on skin on skin deep because that's the website that tells you about products and how safe they are that's a cleansing agent and I don't know why the second ingredient and in a curl control paste is a cleansing cleansing agent as well as the rating for that it had like a it was either it was a five and an eight for you know concerns as far as health wise so um I didn't even go into any of the other ingredients. I just know that that second ingredient is used as a cleansing agent. So I don't know why you use that in a, a hair gel slash paste. It doesn't make any sense. But um, no, I wouldn't purchase that again. I'm going to give it to my mom because she did want to try it out, see if she like it. But I don't find any real use for it. I mean, if you want to try it out yourself, it's only seven dollars and ninety nine cent at Target. You can try it out and just see what your take is on it. That's just my opinion. Um, that's it. But um, this is what I'm going to do. It's just seal my end. So I'll just be back when I'm finished sealing my ends with my okay, cat. So I'm just going to go over um, what else I do as far as the week goes. Again, curl control paste is not very moisturizing. Um, I end up using my own styling cream under this. And I just use this on top of just to review it, but it wasn't very moisturizing. Um, I didn't really like the way it made my hair feel when I used it by myself, and then it kind of still didn't like the way it made my hair feel as far as putting it over my um, styling cream. When I use my styling cream, my hair is like real smooth. When I'm smoothing my hands through, it doesn't feel like it's dry. Um, you know, you like when you, it just doesn't. You know how sometimes when you use a certain product and your hands just don't go through it smoothly, it's kind of like rough? That's kind of what that felt to me. So, um, yeah. This is a moisturizer from my hair curl line. I almost used it all up, but I'm using this every day to moisturize my hair because I can't use a hair cream or lotion in my hair because of it being a twist. So I just take this and I just spritz it like that every day and I make sure that I get my ends really uh, good with this I don't really need to spritz my hair but whatever you know um, I just use this every day uh, to keep my hair moisturized my hair is pretty much moisturized when I use this product every day I don't um, find my hair drying out because you know this is lightweight but it keeps my hair moisturized. It's not as moisturized is uh, well is is moisturized is because my styling cream is very moisturized and it holds in moisture and I don't really have to use a heavy cream moisturizer every day so that's a good thing of course like I said before I use this every day wearing it at nighttime and throughout the day when I'm not going out and I put on my lace front 
One thing about lace fronts, I really highly recommend that you use some wig tape. I don't know about the glue, I've never used it, but you know, the lace front support tape. Um, this was only $4.99. I mean, you can get this in any wig shop. Um, I don't know how they sell it in, in your areas, but that's how they, they sell it like that and then they sell it on the roll, but I got that. Also get the remover. This is what removes the glue from um, you, the tape from um, you. Um, this will keep you from breaking, because you know, if you're putting it right here, it can break your baby hair and you don't want that. So this will keep um, you from um, having that problem. It would uh, loosen up the glue and you can just remove it. I didn't have any problems removing the glue from uh, my head and it didn't take any of my hair out. Um, this is called C22 Solvent. I'm pretty sure they probably have some other type of remover in a store by you, but this is what I'm using. So um, that's basically <laughs> it for now. Um, I really hope that this video is a great help to you. And I look forward to making more videos. I'll see you later.